Okay, this is Patriot of the Republic, Mike Former. And I want to talk about Agenda 21 in the Port Authority and the NAFTA Superhighway and the Keystone Exxon Pipeline. Well, there's a couple videos I had posted up in the past about the Port Authority, Agenda 21, well, controlling the masses through mass transit the NDAA, the Patriot Act, and mass transportation. Well, this is regarding Agenda 21. Here in the Allegheny County area, or the Allegheny County Pittsburgh region, the Port Authority has been making quite a few cutbacks since 20, 2009 all the way up um, 2009 through 2010 and up to 2012. Well, everyone knows about the Super NAFTA Highway is coming from Canada down through the Midwest, down to Texas, and into Mexico. They're going to be uh, the Super ha NAFTA Highway. Well, they're bringing a Spanish company from Spain to construct it and to bring jobs. And they're going to be offering illegal aliens from Mexico Mexico sent uh, in, well, people that reside in Mexico and in Central America like South America and also Canada and they won't think about asking people from the, I mean to employ people from this country to give them jobs uh, well well, you know, when they're going to be bringing the Super NAFTA Highway down through Canada, the Midwest, down to uh, Texas and to Mexico, they're going to be blocking off uh, the entrances and the exits to rural areas, to con small little country towns. And they're not going to allow people to enter or exit into these, uh, from these rural towns, these little country towns out in the middle of nowhere or to exit off it's just going to make these uh, little rural towns become ghost towns well the Port Authority of Allegheny County well they're doing similar things basically they want to uh, merge six or seven counties and to uh, basically merge the Port Authority of Allegheny County with quite a few other counties into one big, a bigger mass transit system and basically they want to cut off access to small little towns like, and they're considered little holes in the wall and these little towns or boroughs or townships or whatnot, it's going to be uh, little places like Oakmont, Harmerville, Verona, Total Creek, Wolverine, Pitcairn, Trafford, they're going to completely, well, when the Port Authority was shut down, and when they uh, merge into a bit, and, and, and incorporate it into a bigger transit, uh, a bigger transit system, all those towns or cities or boroughs and townships or whatnot will be eliminated they won't get the bus service. And that's almost like the NAFTA Superhighway where they're going to block off uh, entrances and exits going through little town, rural town areas. And it's going to make them ghost towns. Well, it's just like the Port Authority. If they're going to merge it with seven, six or seven or eight different counties, places like Verona, Oakmont, Harmerville, and so on, etc., they won't receive the bus service. They'll consider that little holes in the wall. And it will force people to, to relocate into the bigger metropolises like the city of Pittsburgh, East Liberty, Homewood, Wilkinsburg, and so on, etc. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to do the same exact thing with the Super NAFTA Highway, how they're going to 
blockade the entrances and the exits to these small world towns, it's just going to basically, that's the same effect. It's going to just take away from an area like Verona or a small world town along the Super Napta Highway. And that's also a part of, that's also, it's also the same, that, that will go with the Agenda 21 plan. And the, this Keystone Exxon pipeline, it's going to Trans Canada. They're the big oil company that wants to put a pipeline. Well, President Barack Obama just uh, signed it through, and it's going to have a pipeline coming from Canada down through the Midwest, down to Texas, and into Mexico. And a lot of activists that were up in arms and people that own ranches along this pipeline, they're up in arms because it's going to go through their property and pollute their property and their uh, fresh water wells or springs and it's going to pollute the land and it's also going to be a health hazard. What happens if the pipe, this pipeline after it's constructed, if there's a hole in it and, and there's going to be residential not too far from this pipeline, it's going to pollute the air it's going to pollute the atmosphere. It's going to cause health issues. And it's very dangerous. And they're also, uh, this, after Barack Obama passed this, uh, okay for this, give the, uh, gave the green, green light on this Keystone Exxon pipeline, they're just going to take people's, uh, land through em eminent domain. We're just going to put the pipeline right through your, through your property. We're going to take a good percentage of your property or all of it just to put this pipeline through. It's going to, and this pipeline, they're going to bring oil, tar-like oil sands through this pipeline right down to Texas and right down into Mexico. TransCanada is going to provide jobs. It's just going to be temporary jobs for them to build this this Keystone Exxon pipeline from Canada into the United States through the Midwest down to Texas and Louisiana down into Mexico. It, Trans Canada is going to receive all the profits and very little profits would would and we and we the people in the United States was will, will see very little profits for this uh, Keystone Exxon pipeline. Trans Canada is going to see all the profits. And it's going to run parallel with the, this, this pipeline, this, Exxon, this Keystone Exxon pipeline would run exactly parallel with the NAFTA superhighway. And that's also going to push for a North American mean Union break down the borders and it's going to invade our country with this pipeline and then map the superhighway. It's going to it's going to threaten us being a sovereign nation, a sovereign and free nation, and also the individual sovereign. It's going to threaten our individual sovereignty as well. And a lot of people should be up in arms about this. They shouldn't be protecting Barack Obama or a Mitt Romney type conservative Republican. And people, you know, this is not going to be good. Agenda 21, the, the, this is a part of Agenda 21. The Keystone, Exxon, Pipeline, the Napa Superhighway, and what they're doing to the port to the Port Authority of Allegheny County. They want to dissolve it or dissolve a good percentage of it and then merge what's left of it into a bigger transit system. And it's going to, you're going to have like six, seven, eight, nine, ten counties 
they're going to dissolve some of their mass transit, public mass transit transportation and absorb it all through southwestern Pennsylvania and make it into some kind of southwestern Pennsylvania transit authority. And it's going to eliminate, it's going to be like the Super NAFTA Highway where they're going to be closing off entrances and exits to small rural towns and it's going to not have any access to the highway or access to the small rural towns. This, uh, what they're going to do with the Port Authority, it's the same concept, merging what's left of the Port Authority into a bigger transit system where it's going to ignore small little towns and boroughs and townships like, like I said, Oakmont, Verona, Palmerville, Turtle Creek, Wolverine, Pitcairn, and so on and etc. It's going to force you're not going to, people that don't have the vehicles won't have mass transportation going through these uh, little towns and boroughs and cities and whatnot. It just, it's not right. And I think people should be up in arms. The people that don't have the vehicles, you're going to, it's going to be taking away their, uh, their right to passage and their uh, God inevitable right to travel. It should be stopped, and it, it should be stopped, it shouldn't be permitted. And, well, the Port of the, the county should have never been permitted 45 to almost 50 years ago to merge all the mom and pop, the small mom and pop transit companies around the, the county of Allegheny County. There were like 40 to 50, 60 mom and pop mass transit companies about 45, 50 years ago. Well, you know what they're, and you know what Southwest, it's going to be basically they're going to be merging uh, Westmoreland Transit with the Port Authority, uh, Butler, uh, Beaver, and other county mass transit systems into one bigger mass transit system and it's probably going to be called the Southwestern Pennsylvania County Transit Authority and they're going to say this is bigger will be better and it will be more convenient for the people. There may be some and they're also going to say that some people it's it's going to be more it's going to be more convenient for some of the people. Well I think this is going to be like the Super NAFTA Highway, the Southwestern Pennsylvania Transit Authority. It's going to be just like the Super NAFTA Highway. People should stand up, say no to what they're doing to the Port Authority of Allegheny County and the transit system. And they should, and people throughout the United States, especially the Midwest, all through the Midwest, going down to Texas and to Mexico, they should be protesting about the Super NAFTA Highway and the, now the construction of the Keystone Exxon Pipeline which will run parallel with the NAFTA Super Highway. That's part of Agenda 21, folks. Well, I've said enough here and this is Mike Fuller, Patriot of the Republic, saying so long and goodbye and also the La Vista for now. Take care, folks. Goodbye. Take care. Thank you.